Hi, this is my Honda ES 6500 water-cooled generator. I recently converted it over to natural gas with a kit from U.S. Carburation. The was very simple and straightforward. And I do guess that having a, a good understanding of mechanics and what parts and pieces do certainly helps. This piece that we're looking at here is the throttle plate or the adapter plate that is supplied. Prior to that, this plate here, I'm sorry it's hard to focus and hold it, this plate was originally mounted right up against the carburetor. So all this has to be moved out. The flexible intake tube here uh, went back on with no problems at all. That allows me to be able to use this on natural gas or on gasoline. Very simple to swap over. Just a matter of making sure that one supply is off and the other one is on. Coming out of the adapter is the supply gas line and this is following it back to the regulator which is here. And this piece on top is the primary adjustment. That adjusts how much flow actually goes to the carburetor. If you were having a problem where it couldn't get enough suction or vacuum to open it, then that would be this screw right here. Did not have to do anything. Followed the instructions in the manual. It said to open this up approximately eight turns. By the time I got finished with it and tuned it out, I was at about six and a half turns. On the back side of that is the push button primer. So you press this to prime the engine when it's cold. And what I have learned is that it takes approximately one to two seconds to prime it when it's cold. I'll go ahead and start the engine right quick and we are on natural gas. That little bit of surging that it's doing, it's doing that because the engine is cold. Uh, if you were on gasoline, you would have a little bit of choke turned on until that smoothed out. With the natural gas, it'll just surge for a moment. Or I can turn it to where it'll run at its 3600 RPM speed when it first starts up, and no problem at all. It goes right to work. <laughs> 